Rock Salt and Nails by Tyler Childers is going to be played in standard tuning, and for this song you'll need to know a G chord, uh, a C chord, a variant of a C chord, an E minor chord, and then an F chord. The intro is going to be alternating between a G major and a uh, C over G chord. The opening chord, it sounds like Tyler leads into by a little pickup note uh, moving from the 6th string 2nd fret to the 6th string 3rd fret into the G chord. So the way the G chord is being made is ring finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, pinky finger on the 1st string 3rd fret, and then your 2nd finger will ultimately rest inside of the G on the 5th string 2nd fret. And then the little lead in note you would be doing with your 2nd finger on the 6th string 2nd fret, and then ring finger to the 6th string 3rd fret. So that's your G chord. But immediately after hitting that G chord, you're going to come down into the C or G chord. So for this, your ring and pinky finger are going to remain planted where they are throughout the vast majority of the verses here. And your operational C throughout most of the verse is going to be just moving your second finger to the fourth string second fret. You'll keep an open third string and your first finger will go to the second string first fret with uh, your ring finger blocking out the fifth string, but then everything else you're able to str uh, strum across the strings. So you're going from a G chord into that C over G chord by just hammering on your first and second fingers into that uh, C position, or really it's the shape of an A minor seven chord and it repeats. bit about this rhythm so whenever you're uh, the rhythm is just a very lazy uh, very lazy strum like this so I'm going down up down up up down up up down is basically what I'm doing um, or down up down up down that's what it is down up down up down up down up down up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Inside of the G. Now, whenever you move to the C, it will then hit down on the C and then pull off to the open G before actually then striking the G. Listen to that very carefully and slowly. that pull off so that pull off is kind of key to the sound of this song um, sometimes Tyler does this little lick inside of the G chord Out of the G chord, you're just going to use your second finger to hammer on down on the fourth string second fret. Pick that up, and then so you're exposing the open fourth string, and then you're going to hit the open fifth string and hammer on with your second finger to the fifth string second fret. And then pick up and hammer on and pull off into the G very slowly. That's the verse that just continues for the vast majority of the song, G's and C's. Um, whenever it goes to uh, the, ne the next chord to know is an E minor, it walks down to the E minor by moving from your ring finger on the 6th string 3rd fret to your 2nd finger on the 6th string 2nd fret, and then into the E minor. The way that that's going to sound is like coming out of the verse, walk to the E minor. You get to the E minor, it's just a very standard E minor. You've got your second finger on the fifth string, second fret, ring finger 
on the fourth string second fret. Then you're strumming across all the strings. In the E minor, you can hear him do a hammer on by lifting up the second finger from the fifth string and then hammering it back down onto the fifth string second fret. And then it goes into a C chord. So the C chord is going to be a standard C chord for this now out of the E minor. Ring finger on the fifth string third fret, second finger on the fourth string second fret, open third string, first finger on the second string first fret, open first string, strum from the fifth string down. Now in this F, towards the end of it, he'll put his pinky finger down on the fourth string third fret. He's hammering down on the 4th string 3rd fret with the pinky inside of the C. So listen to how that sounds real quick coming out of the E minor. And then back into the G. The E minor. Hammer on to the C. Hammer on to the F. Come back to the G. Minor, hammer on in the E minor to the C chord, hammer on the hammer on with the pinky, and then the G chord. Anyway, so pretty simple up to that point. The last chord to know is going to be an F major chord. Now Tyler plays this as a bar chord, barring across the first fret and then putting ring finger on the fifth string third fret, pinky finger on the fourth string third fret, and second finger on the third string second fret. That's the way that Tyler plays that F chord, like every fourth time through the verse, I think. I tend to play it like this. So you can either play the bar chord the way that Tyler plays it, or I'm leaving my second ring and pinky where I just told you to put it, but then I put my first finger on the second string first fret, and I reach around and grab my thumb on the sixth string first fret, and I play my F that way. Um, and that's the last chord of the song. So you've got G's and C's. Then it walks down to E minor, to a C chord, to a G chord. It walks down again to E minor, to a C, back to the G chord. And then the last time through it goes F, to the C. Those are the and those are the chords and movements to Rock Salt and Nails by Tyler Childers. Hopefully, this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.